Well, good afternoon there, Radio Land. This is Dr. John Williams with Elite Motivational Moments with Dr. John Williams. Hey, I am so proud to be here tonight. I'm just delighted. God has been good to us, and I just want to tell him thank you. Father, we say thank you today as you have given us one more time. You have comforted us. You have been with us in our darkest hour. We ask now that you touch and heal those that are sick, those that are shut in. Comfort us. We thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Listen, this is Dr. John Williams with the Elite Motivational Moments with Dr. John Williams. And I want to stop by tonight to encourage you. I want to tell you tonight that God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its water roar and foam, and through the mountain, though the mountains tremble in its swelling, we still are gonna tell God thank you, because like he said, he is our refuge and strength and a very present help in trouble. Listen, this is Dr. John Williams with the Elite Motivational Moments with Dr. John Williams and I wanted to come in tonight just to just to give you a little motivation. Somebody needs to hear this tonight. Uh, maybe it was me, not maybe, because it starts with me and then he gives it to me to share. You know, grief leaves uh, uh no one grief leaves no one unvisited. It passes like a shadow, uh, sh shading one's world with gloom and despair. Listen, grief can seem to stretch on forever, unsurpassable and always present. Every future hope is extinguished and it seems as if no joy will ever be able to penetrate the darkness again. Bone deep anguish can't be swallowed whole. Like a scalding cup of tea, if gulped down, it will sear and blister the throat and all of your insides. The only bearable way to consume it is to that one take one sip at a time. <laughs> listen, listen, if you decide to take Everything that comes to you that's negative, just one sip at a time. Take it and live your life one by one minute by minute or hour by hour or day by day, leaving the weight of the future in God's capable hands and asking him for comfort in the presence. Listen, God's power can reach into the deepest depths of despair and in time, but the uh, be it months, years, remember, if you hold a cup of hot tea, just hold on to it and sip it for a little bit. By the time you finish sipping it, it seems to have gotten a little cooler. I stopped by to tell you today, we need to take life just one sip at a time. Whatever we going through, whatever we've been through, we need to remember that we need to take life just one sip at a time. Sometimes we try to cram things down our throat and it's too hot at that moment. But if we take it one minute at a time, if we, if we mess around and take it an hour at a time, if we give away to be good enough to take it a week at a time, sometimes we can put it off for months at a time. Sometimes you can take over years. See, see, if you were building an Empire State Building and you build it in one day, nobody might not have wanted to come and sit and stay in it. But because it took years of heartache, years of, uh, of busting fingers, years, I'm pretty sure, of, uh, of something not going right. But they, 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 they kept on working. They kept on pounding nails. They kept on laying concrete. And that's what you got to do in life. Many times things that we wish would fly by night 
doesn't happen. But you know what? If we learn to take life one sip at a time, sometimes we need to just relax. We need to just learn how to relax. We 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 jump on a project that's supposed to take nine months, and we we say we could do it in in, in three. But it's a reason why that project takes nine months because probably somebody before you, <laughs> hello somebody, tried to do it in that three months. But hello, somebody. But you got to calculate what's coming in, what's going to be next, what's going wrong. You know, the when, why, and, and, and what always kicked in in any situation. Sometimes we must remember that something will fall through the crack. Everything, they say Murphy's Law, you got to remember everything is not going to work the way that you designed it to work. There's always got to be a calculation of something going wrong. See, 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 many times we just have to take one sip at a time and stop running the hot, the hot scalding stuff down our throat. When we leave a job, we, we they always have a replacement. So don't get it in your mind. Don't get it fixed up that you're the only one that can do. Hello, somebody. Because if that was true, uh, we wouldn't have a uh, Ford car still on the, we wouldn't have Chrysler and Chevrolets and, and hello somebody. Because uh, if they were starting to build back in the 40s and 30s and 20s, and those people have yet gone on, but the title, the company is still up and getting better day by day. Hey, this is Dr. J. Wheel with the Elite Motivational Moments with Dr. John Williams. I thank you tonight for tuning in. Hey, you want to support us? Look us up on Facebook. Look us up on uh, my website is comeonin.org. Comeonin.org. For all of you that's in Radio Land, we are going to feed the homeless. We are going to uh, uh, give 12 turkeys out to families that's in need this year, and I'm telling you, if you want to uh, be a part of it, if you want to donate a turkey, if you want to donate funds for the turkeys or the meals that we will supply, please go to my website at comeonin.org, or you can call us at 719-354-1480 and tell us, hey, we want to sponsor a turkey, or we want to uh, do something to help out in feeding those 12 families, we would greatly appreciate it. Once again, this is Dr. John Williams with Elite Motivational Moments with Dr. John Williams. God bless you and thank you, thank you, thank you for your time. I just wanted to come and give you a word and hope that it helped somebody. Remember, take life one sip at a time.